Righto, today we are rebuilding this 1KD and we're going to measure the tunnel, the mains, the big ends. I've already started measuring the crank. Now we need to measure for our oil clearance. So I've installed the main caps, I've installed the crank girdle, um, studs I've torqued it down. We get this motor straight back from uh, Galloway's engines. It's been uh, fully machined, we've got a line home of the tunnel, overboard done, we've gone half a mil bigger on the pistons and a whole bunch of other stuff, balancing and all the rest. If you've got any of this laying around, plus the gauge, it's really accurate for absolutely nothing. We're gonna throw that straight in the bin and we're gonna use um, some measuring tools. And I missed the bin. I'm gonna start measuring the oil clearance in the engine. Um, I've already measured the crank. Come over here and I'll actually show you what I use and it may not be everyone's way to do it, but this is the way I've been taught, I've been shown. Um, we've got a couple of different tools here. We've got an inside mic, and um, the inside mic, it purely is for just, it's like a, a depth gauge. All right, so I've got the inside mic. I don't use that for measuring. I just use that to get the distance inside whatever bore that I need. So it, it, it's nice and compact, it's small, and then I come in and I use the outside mic. The outside mic has been zeroed, and it's perfect. So we can just throw this inside the bore. I'll show you real quick over here. Just pop it in the ball like that. Probably have to come down here a bit. We'll just get the right size. And you want to feel nice little pop passes. It takes a little bit to get right. That's probably a little bit too tight. See that little pop there? A little bit of a feel there on that. Yep, cool. We'll bring it back up here. We just lay it down there. You don't want to hold onto this tool for too long because it actually changes the reading, like the readings will grow over time. So just keep that at room temp. And then you just come over here with this. We've got, well, it's the two to three inch. So we're 2.75. And we'll add another five. So 2.755. Then to find out how many tenths of one thousandth of an inch you roll it around to this side and you see which one it lines up with so I mean, if you look here it's only just past the five like not even it would nearly be on the zero but if you wind it around it's actually lined up perfectly with the one keep going around not with the two Righto, we just measured up the main journals, making a bit of start on measuring everything to be honest and uh, well, what's interesting is if you're holding this tool and getting it warm and you come back to the one you first measured when you measured it when the tool was cold, it actually has changed so that top one, journal number one is now 2.755 and that was 4 tenths So yeah, putting heat into this thing, just keep it in mind that place the tool down when you're not using it. We're lucky we got a split system aircon in the room, so it keeps everything bloody a decent temp. Righto, had a bit of a bloody mental blank there, got the calculator out. 2.7580 of an inch. Then we have 2.755 with a two and a two on the X and Y axis, so we don't need to average those out. So we take this number away from this number and it gives us our all clearance. And quick math, it is, actually use the calculator, 0.0028. So we've got 2.8 thou of oil clearance on your first journal there, which is perfect. We have HX bearings, which gives you one thou extra clearance. If I use these in this engine, and I'm gonna go through and measure them all, but I'm just showing you the first one. Um, it would be 3.8 thou, but you can use half a shell. If you were to target a little bit more clearance, you could get half a thou more. So it would bring it at around about 
say three thousandths of an inch if you wanted a slightly bigger clearance and I always keep a set of these on hand just in case but I'm pretty happy with it with that for this motor um, yeah I'm gonna go through and check the rest and we'll come back and uh, show you where we're at righto I've measured all the main bearings in the block and these are what we got I'm old school I work in Imperial but um, simple maths here if you measure that you measure this and then you take the larger one away from the smaller one it'll give you your oil clearance 28 thou, 29, 29 29, well sorry, 2.8 thou 2.9, 2.9, 2.9 and then something to note here which is what I've been seeing on these 1KDs slightly larger oil clearance 3.3 thou and that is on the thrust side to allow oiling for the thrust bearing and that kind of thing so pretty happy with this I'm not going to use the HX bearings, we don't need any more clearance, this is perfect. So now I will measure the connecting rods with the bearings in and see how they come up. 